Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana. Today is day 223 of my HRT, day 193 since I started estrogen. Um, physical updates. Mm. Ooh, not. I've I've been feeling some uh some some mood swings and like sadness, but I can explain why that is. So moving on, um, to some medical updates. I have um my last appointment with my doctor. We've talked about the uh, progesterone, and and basically, I I told her that. I don't have to do the progesterone because she doesn't recommend it, but I would like to increase my estrogen. And she's like, no, maybe we should work on blocking your testosterone instead. So what, what happened was she gave me a different um, blocker. And this one is called Cyprotone. Cypro that's, that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. Uh, so basically, this medication causes um, like sadness. <laughs> and you know what? Like after the first day of taking it, yeah, I felt it. Like <sighs> I don't know, like if it was a combination of what happened that day or if it was because of this, but it, I definitely feel like I was pretty sad that day. And, uh, so I've been trying to watch that and notice that. Mm. So yeah, not not too much out to say. Too much else to say about that. Um, still, I don't know. Chest growth is still slow. I mean, I think it's it's happening like just a little bit, <laughs> little bit, but. It's not as, you know, it's not where I want it to be. So anyways, moving on. Um, what was I supposed to say next? Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know how I told you guys last laser treatment might be the last one for my face? Well, I mean, it's still early in the month, but I'm still noticing some bits of it. So I might have to go for one more. But we'll see what happens by the end of the month, because usually by the end of the month, you notice more of a difference than at the start of it, and it's only been a week, so maybe there's more coming out, so you just don't know, right? So, yeah, so that's that's the update for the laser hair removal treatment. Mm. Alright, moving on, moving on. So, tomorrow will be the last day of my first week in school which is great. It's been great. School has been wonderful. I've I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um made a lot of new friends. Um got a lot of free food. <laughs> um so today I I went to school and did the food bank thing and got myself like a whole grocery bags of of like canned food, soup, um, beans, pasta, um, pancake mix, and um, yeah, that was about it. But it was a lot of them. Like it was so heavy. I think like I have like red marks from my shoulders for ca from carrying it. So yeah. Oh, so yeah. That's definitely a physical change. Physical updates I should mention. Um, I I I mark very easily now like my my skin I get like I get like you know how when you carry something like like a shoulder strap for too long and it's too heavy and then like it it pulls on the skin and then it leaves behind like red red spots yeah I get a lot of those on my shoulders now from carrying my school bag and and today was from the groceries and it was like it kind of sucks but <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. 
Mm, what's next? Oh yeah, tomorrow is my housing. I'm going to a housing support group um thingy type thing. Housing support meeting. There's like a trans housing program that has an opening and I might be able to get in and I'm hoping to um you know, move, move for June. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's that's good news right there. Um, good news is my ear piercing. I think they've healed. Like I no longer notice bleeding, and I don't even do the salt water wash anymore. I I just take a shower. So I just kind of rinse in the shower. So I got all the salt and I used like like this much this much of it. So you know what that means? That means I can do more piercings. <laughs> but seriously though, seriously, I'm thinking I might get one more piercing right here. This side. No, this side. Yeah, this one more like piercing right there, and then put a tiny little like jewel in there, sparkly one. What do you think? <laughs> or I might just glue a sparkle on there, and it would be just as good. <laughs> mm, so yes, that's that, and oh. I'm working on a new project right now. Um, basically, it's it's a story, and it's like a it's a coming out story. It's about somebody coming out to somebody close that is a family member, and yeah, let's leave it at that for now. I'm working on the uh, the script, the script. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm halfway done. When I'm done, I'm going to post it, and uh, I feel it's important to share that with somebody, with everybody. So, yeah, you know, you guys can look forward to that if you like that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so the new season changing I've noticed some allergies kicking in which which does normally happen for me like the summertime the, the dust allergies kind of kick in I don't know if it's the dust or the flower or whatever it is it's pretty bad so oh last thing last thing I know it's running a little long yet um for badminton in school I think I've sort of figured out what I want to do. I just don't know if I can or will do it. So basically, yeah, well, let's see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. <coughs> mm, excuse me, sorry about that. I'm getting a little bit scratchy in my throat. Uh, yeah, that's so that's it. That's it guys. Thank you very much. Um I'm still working on my name change, but uh, hopefully I'll get that sorted out soon. Um thank you for watching. See you guys next week, Monday. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and um Yeah, leave a comment and whatever questions you have below and I'll reply to them as soon as I can and uh, follow my social medias links will be in the description thank you very much have a good night peace out